That, my friend, is the sound of the Seville High School marching band. And before you called me and said they were the cheerleaders of the week, no, that was the Artesia Bulldogs cheerleaders who were cheerleaders of the week. So Artesia, cheerleaders, Seville, band of the week. We got it. Welcome back. Albuquerque High starts tonight. Still looking to give first-year head coach and former Lobo Curtis Flakes his first win. The Bulldogs also hoping to stop the losses that have built up to 1-42 in since 2010. Bulldogs hosting residents of the V, the Valencia Jaguars. And Valencia already up 12-7 at the half. The Jags getting production from whom? My cousin, Isaac Lewis. Family in the house wearing number 28. Then more Valencia coming up. Garrett Gibson, the handoff to Josh Burbank. And where are you, Josh? Josh trying to fight his way into the end zone. And Josh, out of bounds. So they have to try to get it some other way. Gibby this time, getting air. Going back to who else? Isaac Lewis. That's who I would have thrown the ball to. Valencia wins it, 38 to 21. Upset City and Goddard. Wow, Berlin taking on the Goddard Rockets and taking care of the Rockets on the road, 28 to 21. Coach Don Lerma putting that one in his highlight reel. St. Michael's Horsemen won it all in what was AAA two seasons ago. The Robertson Cardinals had the honor of doing so last season. The champions of the last two seasons meeting tonight. <laughs> Defending champions hosting, fans cheering because they like this. Seven to nothing Cardinals to start the second half. Cardinals quarterback Trey Lopez faking the handoff and calls his own number, getting a nice first down game. Then it would be Lopez on a QB sneak. Little short touchdown in for the 13 to nothing Cardinals advantage. You'd be screaming too if your team was winning. Fourth quarter now, Cardinals driving again. Lopez looking to pass. Horseman defense knocking the ball loose. Somebody got a fall on it. Then the Horseman trying to make something out of it. Cross Harmio in the shotgun running to the far sideline, plants his feet and lets it fly. Oh, picked off RJ Ortiz with the defensive stop. Cardinals, Lopez in the shotgun, taking a step back, letting it go, hitting Amos Rivera for the score. Robertson holding serve, winning in a shutout. 20 to nothing is the final. High school scoreboard, more of it. Aztec better than Del Norte. And if you don't see your scores on here, just look at the ticker. They're in there. Artesia better than Deming, 53 to 15. How about this? Bloomfield better than Towles tonight, and Tukum Carey knocked off by the demons of Dexter. Timeout is called. More Football Friday is coming your way. We're headed north again for Dons and Jags. And did you miss yesterday's action? Jared is back with our Thursday Night Rewind. First, check out our Player of the Week. Now I know this kid won this award once this year already, but with the game he had last week against La Cueva, we had to give it to him again. Rio Rancho quarterback Easton Brewer is this week's player of the week. Brewer was 17 for 24 with 271 passing yards. He had four touchdowns in this lopsided win over the Bears, and this was his longest pass of the night. 52 yards to the house. What a game for Brewer, and even Coach House thinks so. That's it right there, kid. Nice job. Nice job. There you have it, Easton Brewer, this week's player of the week.